Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Um, uh, I got some stuff planned out here for today. Here we are. We have um, our AC motor, and we got a couple other parts in here. Uh, check out these lights, yo. We are stepping up the game. All right, so essentially what I'm gonna be doing today is putting all of this together and getting my would-be tumbler up and running. So it's actually running without overheating this time, hopefully. Let's see if our uh, our work from the other day is uh, good enough, you know. Uh, I'll explain things as I go along. Let's dive right into it. Okie dokie. So, essentially what we need to do is figure out a way to get this motor like so. Right, and then get this drum on top like so. So that the, uh, the drive shaft sticks through and so that we can mount our spin plate, or whatever you want to call it, on top of that like so. Um, what we also need to do is build a dust collection system in the bottom here. So what I was thinking, uh, if this is our top plate, right, with our holes, what I want to do is add a second layer that is hollow and then uh, a cover on the bottom and then attach a mounting point for my vacuum like so we hook it up on there and then that lets us uh, essentially suck air through this way through the open space in here and out the hole into the vacuum and so that way we can make sure that um, none of the dust gets through into the uh, the motor or into the motor mechanism motor space or outside of the enclosure. Uh, that's what I've got planned for now. Uh, I'm gonna take a couple minutes and kind of figure out what I'm doing, and then I'll get back to you guys. Um, I've gone ahead and cut out uh, these pieces. I cut out two. Okay, so what I'm seeing right now is that this, this like collar here is a little bit tapered. So that's what I'm talking about right here. Uh, as you can see, it sits fairly tight on there, and that should be enough. So we can mount this like so, and then have our middle piece uh, here, and then our cover plate on top, and then the whole assembly sitting on top of that. My hole saw isn't big enough. Ladies and gentlemen, I've come up with a solution. Uh, I'm gonna use my Forstner bit and just essentially mill out the, uh, the hole. This is a great technique. I should have figured this out sooner. Pretty messy, but we have all our points. So I will be back in a second after I've got these drilled out. Alrighty, we have our holes cut. Oh, this looks really cool. This looks like some spaceship kind of stuff. I tried putting this in there. I was thinking, I don't want to use those bolts anymore, or those nuts anymore, because they kind of suck, but look at that. That's awesome. That fit is awesome. There's a problem, and that is that this middle piece is too thick. So with all of these three together, I come to here. That's touching the base of the, uh, the pedestal grinder. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a second one of these. I'll do another half inch piece, and then we are up to an inch and a half, and that should be enough. I'll get back to you guys once I have that, and then we can think about uh, putting all of it together. So here we are. And our other piece is right here. Boom, would you look at that?
Man, this thing is looking awesome. Now we can get started on actually mounting everything. I think I'm gonna sit down for a little bit and think about how I'm gonna get this to fit up. Alrighty, so I have a couple pieces cut. Um, here we go. I'll put these together like so. And then they will mount onto the corners, kind of like so. And then we have the supports done. Nice. Alrighty. We're gonna attach them like so. There. Uh, I think maybe before I mount it, I should uh, build the little uh, port for the uh, the vacuum tube. Ooh, look at that. You can get it to fit just like so. Boom! Where are we? There. Nice. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and drill the uh, the rest of the hole off camera. Cause it's gonna be boring, but uh, <laughs> boring. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just go. Alrighty, guys. I got the hole drilled. So that's gotta sit for uh, half an hour now, uh, which means we can start working on the the legs get those done. Then we can start thinking about how we're gonna attach the motor. I don't know if you can see, but I got these, uh, these holes here. I was thinking I could hang it, I could hang this piece just on that first layer. Okay, so I've gone ahead and uh, got the glue separated and now we have access to this inside. So uh, I ran into a problem here. This piece uh, is too small. I can't screw it into place. So we can just make this piece out of this and make it bigger so we can actually screw it into place. Look at that, that's cool, that's cool. Okay, I got the uh, the ends ground down. So now we can go ahead and put everything back together. Look at that. 
we're in here. Dude, I'm so stoked. Just like that. I think I put her in upside down. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, we put it in backwards. All right. Oh. Alrighty, I'm back. I don't know if I got done what I wanted to get done because I don't really remember what I was gonna do. But I'm ready to move on. That's all that really matters. Uh, let's put this together for now. Just to uh, make sure the parts don't go missing or anything. Okay, so uh, here is all of the electric stuff we need to do. I'm gonna take the measurements of this exact so that it sits pretty much flush. I'm gonna cut out one of these and then cut out a second cover plate to cover this. And then we're gonna make a cool little knob. Alrighty, I got our pieces cut out. Now, I have the piece cut out. This will go right here. I just had kind of a wild idea. I was thinking, instead of dealing with nuts and bolts here and here, I could go and sand off the paint and then braze on some quarter inch nuts and then I can just bolt the whole face onto there. You know what, I'm, I think I'm gonna give that a try. So we have our nuts and we have our cover plate also on. So the plan was to just put the bolts in like so. Obviously I'll trim the bolts. I'm gonna mark out where those holes are and then I'll go ahead and drill those. Oh man, all the holes line up just right. That's awesome. The uh, camera stopped recording again. Uh, I don't know at what point, so I really hope we didn't miss too much. But I uh, put the stain or the sheet metal piece in as a guide, so I can use my hole saw with the uh, the true center of that hole because this is smaller than the uh, quarter inch bit that we used. I'm just gonna go for it. I present to you the cordless lathe. Alrighty, I'm back. I stopped being a dingus and used uh, the vise as a screw press. Oh, look at that. And that is one switch mounted. Now we can begin putting the thing back together again. Hallelujah. Okie dokie. Do a little bit of cleaning up. Uh, I also trimmed the bolts. As you can see, I cut them down to four centimeters. This means that they'll fit just right. We can tighten them up a bit. Not bad. Okay, so uh, let's get right to it. So first things first, let's go ahead and put this thing back together. Had a little bit of an issue, uh, my camera ran out of memory. I'm using my phone at the moment. Uh, I'm just gonna get to it right now, get this wrapped up. So I'm ready to rock, I got this thing just clamped on the frame for now. Uh, plug. Oh, it's working so much better than before. It's a lot better than before. Let's just click it. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go ahead and take the thingy off, uh, get it all closed up, 
because these connections are good to go. Should be anyways. I've got it set up here. The uh, legs are glued. I screwed on the uh, the bottom base. Our water cooler is hooked up and running. The vacuum is hooked up to the dust collection system. And I have a handful of potential wood beads. Now, let's get those in there. Here they are. Let's turn it up. Probably a little hard to see, but it's it's working. I'm probably at the uh, 15 minute mark here. The tips of the motor are definitely getting a bit warm. Nowhere near hot, but warm. Still pumping, still flowing. The vacuum is loud as hell, but. It looks like it's working. I'm gonna keep it running for a bit more. Alrighty, friends. I uh, just turned it off. Look at that. That's what we're getting out of this thing. It ran for about half an hour. No overheating. No problems. It's... It's, like, barely warm. Not even. This thing cools it so quickly. It's amazing. Uh, as you can see, it's flowing still. Really solid. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today. Uh, hope you had fun watching this project. I sure had a blast making it. And um, if you did enjoy it, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, uh, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.